Okay, we're well actually now if you've if you've got larger parts that you want to zinc plate, which you're not physically capable of putting into one of the 10 litre buckets, we do offer two brushable plating kits as well. One's a zinc plating kit and the other one is a nickel brush plating kit as well. And Jonathan's gonna go through the zinc plating process for us now. Yes, yeah, so what we have similar with the the tank plating setup, we've got a power supply and a control unit, but the, these are different to that. So they, they need to be specific for this brushing mm -hmm. kit. So the power supply just plugs into that. And again, that's, that's fixed voltage. There's nothing variable on that. And then you've got two connections on the end of these leads. One's a, a four mil plug, which pushes into the, the socket on the brush itself. And this other clip attaches to the part that you're gonna be brush plating. So that completes the circuit then yeah. between the two. And so what, what you would do, you would these bristles of the brush need to be saturated fully with the zinc brush solution so that the, there's plenty of solution because it relies on that to produce conductivity between this metal and the part and the that you're brushing yeah. with that to okay. play it. So that, that needs to be fully saturated with that. So you would you would simply have that set up and you would repeatedly brush over the area that you want to play it. Eventually that will build up in to um, a thick enough layer to yeah, provide pr yeah. protection. Although this is a higher current system, so it is depositing the zinc faster than in the tank setup, it's still at a, a slow enough rate that you only get a very, very thin, thin layer, layer each yeah. brush. You know, you can't really develop that thickness of layer in a, in a quick time. Okay. So it, it does require a lot of brushing to build up mm -hmm. so that you've got a, a good level of, level of protection. Can we shorten the bristles? Does that make it any... Yeah, usually less of an issue with this because uh, this is actually a, a more conductive solution than the nickel one. Right. The nickel one, um, you, there's two things, you, it's not usually a problem, but yeah absolutely, you, you can shorten the bristles with either of them. You only need a very, very short length of bristle to provide the, the brushing action for. And does the metal band need to be in contact with the solution? No, it doesn't need to right. be, no, okay. as, long, as long as these are saturated as long as and bristles are, electrically yeah. conduct, then yeah. that's all that's needed. Brilliant. With, the, with this one, this is quite Quite conductive so that's not usually an issue sometimes with the nickel one it can be and so shortening the bristles really helps with that and also warming the nickel solution up all oh, right the, the warmer it is the more conductive it gets so if you're doing this in a very cold garage in the middle of winter when it's you freezing it's going to be less conductive yeah. than if you're doing it midsummer or if you if you warm the solution up to around 30. could we use the tank heater in that in the in the solution well it, it's only in a one liter bottle so you right. have to have a very physically yeah. short heater so some other method you can you yeah need to, some other method yeah, of heating it, it but as long as you get it to around that sort of temperature that'll make it much more conductive yeah. and it'll make it, make it easier process yeah okay so once we've we've used this process what have we got yeah to just next? just with the zinc one the nickel one of course is finished once yep. once you've done that that's you just rinsed and, and is ready this, this is the passive air which again just like in the tank setup um provides that protection layer for the zinc itself on top so after you've finished brushing with this it's rinse it thoroughly again and again apply that and it's 20 or 30 seconds contact needed yep. in there and that that's sufficient for that so to just rinse off when you're finished and literally that is the end of the process so thank you for watching a great big thank you to yourself sir Pleasure much appreciated no problem at all. everything is on the website we've got videos we've got instructions if there is anything else that you're unsure about please just give us a call at frost thank you for watching